This is an 04 Kia Sedona. Um, right now it's got a uh, it's got a, a weak battery. I'm not sure if it's from the alternator or from just the battery being old. Uh, the, the owner said that the battery is uh, said they bought it a year ago. So it's possible that it's a faulty battery, but it's more likely that it's a bad alternator. But just to go through a good troubleshooting process, I have my my voltmeter, Craftsman voltmeter. I'll go over how to use that and what to set it on in a second. And since it's not starting right now, I just have my little my little charger. I'm gonna put my little charger on it on a slow charge, and then come back in a few hours and uh, try to turn it over and then and then test it when the battery has a full charge, and then watch and see if the battery drops in voltage uh, while it's off, and test to see if the alternator is uh, putting out the voltage that it's that it should. But when you look at the gauges. On screen, just little uh, what not, but this way, but the lights are a little bit dimmer than they're supposed to be. Um, a, little, a little bit brighter than that. When I try to turn it over, it sounds like it's got a weak battery. Like I said, that could be either from the alternator not charging the battery, or it could be from a just an old battery, a weak battery, or a faulty battery. So. Before I come back later and finish the video, right now I'm going to go through how to check the voltage on the battery. I know it's going to be weak because um, as the battery drains, the voltage drops more and more. So whenever I do the voltage test on it, I'll see um, I'll see what it's putting out. So right now, what I'm going to do so red to red, black to black. Stick that somewhere where it's not going to come loose. Okay. Look at the voltage. This battery is showing at 1023. Be at least 12 and a half. Um, after you're, even after it's been sitting a little while with the car off. With the car on, you should see um, high 13s, low 14s uh, with the voltage. But if you're wondering what I what setting I have this on, this is a regular voltmeter. This is just a Craftsman voltmeter. Um, you look at it. If I can get this to focus right. When you look at it, so I have VDC. That's volts DC. There's volts AC for like for house. Uh, AC is alternating current. It's considerably different than direct current. Um, direct current is also denoted by uh, like a square wave pattern. Um, and alternating current, you'll see a like a regular sine wave, uh, with a, like a curve wave with the crest and the trough and everything. If you if you remember that stuff from high school or college, I guess. But so since 20 is the next closest thing up above 12 volts, which is what I'm checking, I am using 20. So um, that's how the the voltmeter is set. But Right now, I've got my little charger plugged in, and it's on, uh, this is just a really slow rate charger. Um, a lot of people advise against the fast chargers because uh, they don't really do a good enough job at, uh, well, the faster you, basically the faster you charge a battery, the um, easier it is to, uh, to burn it out. Is that when you're charging it faster, it tends to heat up more, versus when you're charging it slower. Um, It's actually better on the battery in the long run, in the, the grand scheme of things. But so a little light says that it's charging, and it's charging. So I'll be back in a little bit, and uh, I'm just gonna let this run for about two hours, three hours, and then come back. Since it's on a slow rate charge, a little two amp charge. Um, that's the that's the lower rate charge that you want it to run at. So I'm just gonna let it run at that for couple hours, two, three hours, and then come back and check it and see where it's at. Okay, so charge up the battery a little bit, the car started, and uh, you see the voltage is what it's supposed to be with the uh, with the car running. So this turns out this is a bad battery. See the voltage is high 13, so it'll be high 13s, low 14s, with everything on. Lights are on, AC's on, bat uh, the um, 
radios on. Everything that would be putting load on the electrical system on the car is on right now. Um, and the alternator is still putting out a good charge and the battery was still kind of low whenever we whenever we turned it on so it wasn't exactly taking a charge with the charger hooked onto it for three four hours so it is the uh, it is the battery some cars have two charging systems so like higher rpms 2500 3000 rpms you'll have a, a different charging um, like a different charging rate. If that goes out, then your battery will be draining when you're going over those RPMs, and uh, it'll test as if it's fine. But we tested that. Another guy revved up the car while uh, while the while my voltmeter was on the battery, and it tested out fine. Um, these are ten dollar tools. You can get them at um, pretty much any place that sells anything has to do with cars or electronics um, but so yeah this car needs a battery sometimes the batteries swell up a little bit this one is not and other times they, they just get low on water so you have to take those caps off and make sure you don't get any dust in or any of that uh, acid in your eyes but anyway thanks for watching and subscribe